Greetings everyone, I am Kartos L and welcome to a new episode of Cartocraft. We're pretty much where we left off last time. So this episode I want to make this place feel a bit more like a home. Because right now it's it feels like a cave. And yes, I am fully aware that it in fact is a cave, but it doesn't necessarily mean it has to feel that way. So I want to make it a bit more pretty. And I'll be doing that by, well, I'll try to do that by building a sort of wooden framework. It's pretty hard to, hard to describe, I suppose, but I mean, I'm going to go right at it, so I'll just show you. Um, let's see. We've got the little column here. And one, two, three, four, five. Another little column there. Just wondering if I'm doing this right. I believe I am. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. No. So, a lot of different shapes, uh, basic shapes are used when construct, const when building. Uh, for example, you know, stuff like squares, circles. Um, yeah, those are actually the most basic shapes that there, there are. But I want to do something different. I want to use my favorite sh basic shape. Although you could argue it's not a basic shape, but... Anyway. I want to use... Hexagon. Which is a six-sided thing for those who are unaware of what it is which isn't really weird if you don't know it's not a shape often used in real life or in minecraft did i just say minecraft mm. oh look a little little sneaky place for mobs to spawn so I'll fill this in for now. Not entirely sure what to do with that part yet. Yes. And... Oh. Oh. Do it like this for now. So they can't spawn on it. And I need to go on top. You can already see um, approximately which shape it will have. It's the same thing going up on over there and I'll do that uh, in a, just really quick right now off camera because I think that's a lot better for you guys alright so we finished this frame and I made another one to get, give off a stronger feeling of how it would look like and what I wanted was a walkway and I think at this level I've tried several types of wood and even stone slabs, but you know it just didn't look so didn't look good. So now I'm trying these leaves because the point is you do have want to have a walkway. You know <laughs> does kind of have its advantages. However, because the way I set this thing up with all these frames it'd be a shame if those were all completely covered by the walkway so that's why I'm trying leaves besides that I also enjoy building with leaves I don't know why but I just do and then though it seems a bit massive still so trimming the bush And no way to get up. Mm, oops. So the walkway right now was a five by five wide, and I'm just trimming it down to three wide. See, if that will work better. And yeah, no, this is right. Yes, I think it it looks better. Yeah. 
yeah so I'm going to make this a square so make another frame here and another frame there and see how that will look like and then we can start building down or that way because I do want a farm rather soon so see you in a bit hello while digging upwards I discovered this not sure what it is actually good time to equip a sword just a creeper blow up but it didn't do any damage somehow so let's check this out which appears to be directly above my base hmm not much here except a ton load of creepers no of course I get stuck on some bloody rock nah um right well whatever lit this up iron I love my iron and I came up here yeah so guess this is a good opportunity to show you uh, how the work progresses down and go so I made that frame I haven't made this frame but for a very particular reason that will be addressed in a later stage might not be this episode we'll see and this frame I started building there we go it's almost done still trying to find efficient ways of doing this and this seems to be somewhat efficient at least there we go but this needs to be squared off or am I just... hmm Anyway, it's going to be squared off. So I'll <laughs> produce some more of these frames and be back to you then. Alright, so I was just working on the stairs when I figured that it could be done easier and less resource intensive. As you can see now, I am only placing the inside of the framework not the outside like like I uh, did there or this way at these intersections you get these I think they're rather nice shapes which will become a lot more visible in a couple of seconds there we go uh, nearly jumped off again hmm. wow that actually worked anyway <laughs> I made it myself sometimes it will look like this I think it's nice so you have those frames still still have those frames but it's connected now. Uh, it looks looks smooth. Not sure what I'm going to do with the walls yet. There's one problem though. This is a um, spawnable area. And I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. I had this idea. Just fill it with water. and all of those would become water source blocks so let's get some extra water 
and hope it's not night. Ah. Convenient for once. No creepers. Oh, it's almost night though. So let's get some water. Just sprinting. Whoop. Right. Oh, I did not. Yeah, that looks nice. At least better. There we go. Of course. Wow. There we go. As I said, I'm not entirely sure about this just yet. Might look cool. It might not. I have to wait and see in the bigger picture of it all. So, yes. What I want to do is build a small, very small potato farm. And I'm just thinking right now. I'll because I want to go downwards that way. Alright, so I'm going to use that area, which is at least partially excavated, and set my farm in here. So that means I have to dig a lot more again. So... After this is cleared out, I'll be back to you. Alright, so I've cleared out some area here. And I can see my bed from here. Anyway, it's time to make the layout for the frame. And oh, I still have to clear out the top part. Anyway, one thing, one problem is I'm not entirely sure as to how I should do this. If I should make it like that area when it comes to uh, the way the frames are set up or if I should try something different with it being just like that meaning there's going to be one trench through the middle and not these side trenches however that means that I get the frames like this but not against the wall you know what I'm going I'm going to try that. Like so. That does however mean I have to clear out even more. But that can be arranged. Um, like this. And not like that. Like that. Right. I might seem quiet, but I'm actually just thinking really hard. Although that probably doesn't really make a lot of sense. Anyway, right so let's see here. Um, because if I were to do it like so, how would it connect here? Correct answer would be it wouldn't connect there. And that will connect, but that's just the same as over there. Hmm. 
Well, point being, this is going to be a little fun, there's no way I'm going to see this part. So it's pointless. So might as well do it like so. Mm. Oop, a little bit of lag there. Well, actually it's not lag, it's just a frame rate drop. Anyway. And like, oh. Like so. I guess that could work out. Or not. <laughs> um, right, I'll be um, fiddling with this for a while. Hopefully without breaking everything. And see you when I've got it figured out. Here we are. So I decided to go with this design. And I'm going to mirror it at the top. If it would let me. So these are half slabs. To prevent anything from spawning on here. Oh. Stupid windows. I need to shut that off sometimes. Anyway, just mirroring it up here. Oh. Like so. In time I might actually change out uh, this wood for something different. But not anytime soon. And I'm thinking I might actually put a layer of those here just to balance it out I think that looks good looks better and of course one slab short why not like this and like that so next step will be placing this little walkway. And that can go. And I'm still not sure about the water. That might be replaced as well. It's actually very likely to be replaced. But in this stage of the game I don't really have much to replace it with so yes that again would make it safe to argue that I should not <laughs> start with this but then again I want to I do it because I think it's fun I like decorating some people really like to cave, others really like to build. I do like to build a lot, but and big, preferably. Very, very, very big. However, I really like decorating my bases. I want them to look good. Uh, get over here, like this. Now you might wonder why I'm I am doing this and actually I would because I didn't <laughs> explain it. That's really bad of me. Um I'm actually just wondering if what I'm doing is correct or not. <laughs> Bummer. Let's see oh man. I really do keep forgetting at least a half of everything. And I need to sort my stuff. Bandit, be quiet for now. Let's see. Let's place some dirt here. Because that's obvious, isn't it? And now you, I notice that really you can't see much of anything. Which is kind of a shame. That looks wrong. Can we do that? 
No, that looks wrong as well. well that, that's okay, I suppose. There we go. Just to get this dirt out of sight. And if I had a hoe on me, I would hoe this. And we have our first farm plot thing. Give me a jig. Could lower this dirt one. And that way provide it with water more easily. But if I would do that, well let's just try it on this side actually. It will diminish the amount of um, farm area quite significantly, but probably would look better. No, yeah, it, it will look better, but you know, if you're trying to harvest it, you'll fall down and trample the crop, which is oh, so. It's just a no on every. Every accord it's just a no. Did I say on every accord? Wow, that's that's new. Who knows? Maybe it will s several years from now everybody will say it. Not bloody likely. However, getting back to business, we still have the point of water. And actually, hmm, one, two, and four blocks, and five. Well, I don't think it will irrigate that far away. However, ow, let's just test that. So this little test I'm going to build is to see how far the water will irrigate the crop, the land. Ah! I really need to plug that soon. Still recovering my poor, poor heart. Uh, no. You know what? <laughs> I'll just look it up. Be right back. <laughs> All right. So I looked up what I w <laughs> what I wanted because ideally I wanted water up here to irrigate the farmland down below. However, that's not possible. Only one block uh, water can only hydrate farmland if it's one block above or at the same level. So not below, which would have been even better. And if I would place water here, it would not irrigate that. It's too high up. Can be quite a ways away. So that's what I'll probably be doing. And I was hoping I maybe could place water here, but that would not really work out well. Actually, I could replace this with water. Let's just see how that turns out. Uh, no, I actually do want that border over there. Otherwise I have no idea how to s make that pretty later on. Boy. I can place water here or it will flow over there. Mm. Blimey. And a bandit. So this is the height of the farmland. I'll just add another row of blocks. So I can get some water in there. Let's 
see if that worked out. It did. Lovely. It will make it a pain later on to make this look good though. It already is becoming a pain. <laughs> um, I mean that that's not really going to work out. Man. It's hard to do sneaky irrigation. Or is it? I could also raise this up by one actually. But that would result in either um, standing one block too high once more or replacing this with half slabs but you would lose sight of what's below actually there isn't much sight of what's below anyway so I could just do that actually it's not necessarily pretty but it will function and this is going to suck isn't it? yes, yes it is um. oh no yep let's get down is this, yeah this is flowable Flow, flow, flowable I really do just invent words on the go. Problem is, most of them are absolute... Um, when they're not good. Let's just keep it at that. More slabs. I still want them to make transparent half slabs and stairs. Because now you have wood, of course, and stone stone brick and, and brick whoever uses that but all of those are opaque you cannot see through them which is real sad so why can't they make glass half blocks glass slabs however you want to call them oh, that looks kind of dinky it will have to do until I can think of something better or if I can think of something better which I very much doubt so let's get a hoe and let's get our potatoes as I already mentioned I like potatoes and now you can see the stone hoe, ain't that awesome So yeah, one more thing about that texture pack of mine. I really made it so I only uh, change the way tools and armor look. Except iron tools. I kind of like the way those looked. I found them fitting for iron. Because I'm not going to change the way wood looks, for example. The way leaves look. Although I might be tempted. This isn't Let's Play. So... Either I keep it the way vanilla has it, so it, so when you see it and you like it, you could in fact reproduce it. If I change my textures, then the buildings I build will not look the same as the ones you would build. So, oh, uh, So that's why I'm not changing any of those. I forgot to get some extra water. I could of course increase the quality of the texture pack and you know distribute it, but no. <laughs> I don't reckon myself 
to be able to create texture packs of that kind of quality. So, what the? Of course. Better. And we have a little potato farm, which of course is supposed to stretch out in that direction still. Or I could, at these intersections, change whatever is growing in here. Lovely, isn't it? Alright, I put these two chests in here just to make this space a bit more functional and I think it actually looks kind of kind of fun also added a chest over here so I can start organizing my stuff a bit and yes I'm afraid that actually concludes this episode it's been long enough and I want to add some light here like so. Extract torches. There we go. Light all around. Of course, subject to change. Like everything. Anyway, I want to thank you for watching. And I certainly hope to see you next time.